when the first surfers started coming through to Raglan back in the 60s, they used to get shot at from my uh, great uncle. He didn't like the surfers walking across his land, so he'd, he'd shoot at them. I thought that was quite funny because eventually I started surfing, he wouldn't even let me walk across his land. <laughs> my name is Daniel Kiwihuatahi Kiriopa, and I'm from Raglan, New Zealand. We were farmers, right, so we knew everything about taking care of animals and um, you know, staying warm, but we had no idea what a surfboard really was. My parents went and bought a twin fin and it had no leg rope, it had no wax on it. That was the start of something really amazing. Raglan, is, it's not too far off the beaten track. You fly into Auckland and you can come straight to Raglan. It's two to two and a half hours away. There used to be little parades, you know, like the whole town would come out and celebrate my victories. Keep telling me, DK, you've got a gift and you've got to keep pursuing it. And I'm just like, but I don't know what I'm going to get out of it. When Greg Townsend and the group from Surfing New Zealand were, were thinking up the concept of the Ultimate Waterman, I was always in the background listening to these conversations and I was like, wow, I can surf, I can longboard, I can do all these different things. I was the right person to ask if there was ever going to be a um, New Zealand athlete in there. Event after event, I just pushed myself as hard as I could and eventually it became a tussle between me and Kai Lenny. Kai Lenny was fully sponsored and supported by amazing sponsors, you know, that backed his ability and I was just uh, the guy that has his own surf school who teaches kids uh, my philosophy of being in the ocean. Someone that just looked after himself and answered to himself, you know. The backstory behind the whole Waterman event is to have children see me as the kid that doesn't get seen. He'll put in the hard work and he'll, he'll do what he has to do, grinding it out, and he's happy to do it. Once the event finished, I was the champion. It was tears of joy that came running down my face when I was standing up on the stage and winning and it was a reminder of all the people that uh, kept supporting me when I had no support. But they go, you know, there's a reason why you're here and just do it, believe in it and, um, you know, and the outcome was I, I was able to be the champion for the first time. <laughs>